scientists made a small earthquake to find out how close magma with the surface in Yellowstone. When standing in many places in the Yellowstone National Park, the signs of buried hot sources cannot be denied, making people tend to wonder, how far is magma under my feet? The answer is important for the basic science questions about the reservoir of magma, as well as to understand the potential dangers of Yellowstone. And that's also a very interesting question. There is a long history of physical and chemical measurement that provides evidence of magma under the Yellowstone caldera, with an estimated depth to the peak of the reservoir ranges from about 3 to 9 kilometers, about 2 to 5.5 miles, below the surface. Most seismic imaging previously estimated informative subtle 3D structures regarding the estimated size, shape, and location of magma storage. The limitation is the edge of the reservoir produced to run away, sharpening important views, because better knowledge of the depth and characteristics of the peak of the magma reservoir will provide additional insights about magma storage and the release of magmatic gas. It might sound worrying. The accumulation of bubbles in the magma reservoir can be an important step towards the creation of a suitable condition for the eruption, but it depends on the concentration of magma and bubbles. Fortunately, the Yellowstone magma system seems to be in a stable configuration. The seismic reflection results show about 14% of the liquid and about 86% of solid crystals in the reservoir cover layer. In this can bubbles are expected to rise efficiently to the surface, which prevents excessive pressure accumulation. And indeed, this is in accordance with the measurement of the gas that discovered the magmatic gas emitted on the surface in many areas of the Yellowstone National Park. The discovery of evidence of bubbles on the magma Yellowstone Reservoir provides a new perspective that is in line with the long-term view of the magmatic system, which is mostly solid and is currently stable. These results also highlight that the accumulation of bubbles under volcanoes may be measured in general, which once again shows that the use of Yellowstone as a natural laboratory can help better understand volcanoes and its eruptions elsewhere on Earth. The place where the stored liquid rock meets a solid rock that is not melting and forms a layer called the magma layer. The location of the magma layer, the depth is below the surface, how suddenly or gradually the transition, all of them help scientists predict the eruption. However, the previous geophysical imagery is still unclear. Estimated depth of the magma layer, for example, ranges from 3 to 8 kilometers. Led by Rice University researchers Chenglong Duan and Brandon Schmant, a team tried to observe closer. To do this, they borrow techniques that are usually used in gas exploration. They parked a large truck weighing 24,000 kilograms in the northeast caldera and lit a seismic vibrator. Because Yellowstone receives thousands of visitors every day, the team must conduct their research at night. Corrected by the moonlight, the truck vibrator sends seismic waves to the ground, which basically causes a small earthquake. This is called vibrosius. The way it works is similar to the bat equitation. They produce waves that bounce off the object and then return, re, formed by the object they reflect. It's just that, instead of sound waves, Vibrosius uses seismic waves, and instead of delicious insects or cave walls, the waves record the savings of natural gas. Or, in this case, the magma layer. After the truck shook the ground strongly, the team runs data through sophisticated imaging software. They model a variety of materials that can be passed by waves, looking for scenarios in accordance with the complicated and mixed data. 
Finally, they get maps of dimensions, locations, and composition of caldera and magma layers in it. The magma layer is 3.8 kilometers underground, with a sharp line separating liquid from solid rock. Now that they find the magma layer, scientists know more about the workings of Yellowstone volcanoes.